Uh, yeah, good afternoon, YouTube. I remember as a kid hearing about a scam with a magazine ad selling plans for a solar-powered clothes dryer. You would send away for the plans, and you got back a little piece of paper that told you to get some clothesline and string it up between two poles and then hang your clothes out to dry. So this video is pretty much the same thing, only I'll give you the plans for free. When I was growing up, my family always had a clothesline out in the backyard for drying clothes. We didn't even own a clothes dryer. When I moved out and into an apartment, I got into the routine of dropping quarters into the clothes dryers at the laundromat. Then I bought my house and the first big appliance purchase was a washer and an electric dryer. So nice to not have to haul the load of dirty clothes off to the laundromat every weekend. Later, I found the previous owners had some poles set up for what looked like a clothesline, and I fixed it back up and used that frequently. About six years ago, I had some concrete work done at the house and had to remove those poles, and I guess I forgot about them. It was so convenient to just toss the wet clothes into the dryer and spin the dial and have dry clothes in an hour. So that brings me up to the present time, and I was checking energy consumption around the house. I'd run my washer on the kilowatt meter and found it used about 0.3 kilowatt hours per load. I was thinking of how I could measure the consumption of the dryer. Since it runs on 240 volts, a regular kilowatt meter wouldn't work. I thought about recording the starting and ending electric meter readings or using my whole house energy monitor to do the same. I later found a web page that lists consumption at about 4.4 kilowatt hours per hour of dryer runtime, so that's about 50 cents per load. I'll put a link to that page in the uh, video description. Then the light bulb went off. I had forgotten all about drying clothes outside on a line. But now my side yard where the line used to be was paved in concrete and I didn't have a place to set up a line. Then I found this nice retracting clothesline kit at the local hardware store and I bolted it to the corner of my garden shed. I can pull out that line, hook it up to the far end of, of my uh, side yard, and have a nice place to hang clothes out to dry. I've been using the new line for a few months now, and it works great. It should pay for itself in about 50 loads of laundry. Anyway, the point of this video is that you always need to be thinking of new or even old ways to cut your energy use. This was something I grew up with, then got away from, then used again, then forgot about it, and finally set it up to use again. So before, I used to use four and three quarter kilowatt hours of electricity per load of laundry, now about 300 watt hours, or a, about a 94% reduction just by pulling out some line. And with this uh, reel, when I'm done with it, I just detach the line from the other end, it automatically retracts, and then I fold it up against the side of the garden shed and it's totally out of the way. Anyway, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, put that in the comments section below. Uh, check out some of my other videos. Be sure to rate and share this video if you liked it. You can subscribe to the channel to get updates. And as always, thanks for watching.